Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today we're having a look at Voodolls. This is a cooperative action tower defense game. Sort of similar to Orcs Must Die. Maybe Dungeon Defenders or something like that. You play as Voodoo Dolls looking for redemption that are forced to protect their puppet master from the demons that are chasing you. Friends, totems and rituals will be your most valuable assets during this crazy adventure. I love the art style. I think the characters look fantastic. They're cute. But kind of scary at the same time and i really like the idea of these small spherical worlds that you can sort of run around and you can feel yourself traversing quite rapidly it's nice it's a nice idea and it's a cool twist if you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there is to discover about this game you can find some links below and as always the timestamps are ready and waiting even though this is going to be a pretty quick video we're going to start by just jumping into the first character here there's a quick description for each of them and then there are a couple of abilities that are previewed as well so it's not a whole lot, but it's it's enough to give you an idea of what's available. So first up, corruption. Corruption is the spirit of injustice. Relentless towards those she considers guilty and benevolent towards those she cares about. She will favor her own path without any remorse. She looks great. First ability, weight of judgment. Stuns nearby enemies for a few seconds. It's got some icons over here. I think this means AOE and I think that probably means stun. So that's pretty cool. Then we have Nudge of the Unfair. Create an area around you that temporarily increases the damage dealt by every puppet inside of it. Then that'll be area of effect again. It's the AOE icon. And that would be buff. That's the buff icon. Cool. Yeah. I love it. This menu and the presentation of the characters is just fantastic. It's really well done. Next up, Despair. Despair is the spirit of abandon. A charming gaze and all will bow to her will. An open heart and all will flee in despair, for she possesses the power of a hundred broken hearts. Wow. That's pretty rough. Nightmare vision. Frightens all enemies in front of you for a short period of time. Wow, that looks kind of cool, the icon. Once again, AoE, and this looks like fear. Yeah. Then we have Kiss of Damnation. Charms the target enemy for a short time. That charms them to fight for you. Cool. You can see it over here. It sort of charms one and then it attacks everyone else and they attack it. Yeah, seems pretty useful. Then we have Illusion. Illusion is the spirit of deceit. He will deceive all expectations of fools blinded by his cuteness and apparent innocence. And those too slow to follow will die from a surprise attack. Alright, he's got an axe. Deceptive Innocence is the first ability. Oh, it's actually the second ability. Creates a double of illusion that will go towards enemies to distract their attention. Cool. Then we have heavy pockets. Create an area that immobilizes weak enemies and slows stronger ones for a short period of time. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Alright. So this is sort of like an, a, a distraction. That's a slow. You can see it's like a snare. Huh. And that's the immobilize. Cool. Then our final character. Lunacy. Lunacy is the spirit of the unknown, inhabited by contradictory energies and guided by both suicidal and altruistic motivations. They achieve victory through the unpredictable. Huh. Sweet attention. Lightly heals everyone. Oh, really? That's unexpected. Okay. And then Death Wish. Temporarily reduce incoming damage while focusing enemies' attention on you. So this is a tank and healer in one. Wow. All right. Huh. Okay, so that's it. Those are the characters. Corruption, Despair, Illusion, and Lunacy. In terms of gameplay, I really like the idea of Lunacy. Uh, in terms of design, my god, what a tough choice. I think my favorite is probably Corruption. I like the way Corruption looks, but I like the colors on Illusion. It's very cool. Yeah, so all pretty unique, pretty interesting looking. And that is going to bring us to the end of the video. I will just say that the art style for these characters is awesome. They've done a fantastic job, and I think that given the style that they've used in the style of game, they could probably pretty easily add some more characters to this. It would be nice to see. Very nice to see, uh, because I really like what I've seen here, and I think that the design and stuff is awesome. Uh, there's obviously no actual customization of the characters themselves right here. I'm not sure if there is any in-game, and with that said, if you guys have played this at all, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Has Voodoo's been fun? Hmm. Yeah. Let me know. I'm absolutely keen. And if you've got a favorite character, you can also share that with me. Because I'd love to hear that too. As always, you can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, 
happy creating or in this case picking those characters happy that <laughs>